Hello beautiful people of planet Earth. Hope you're all having an amazing day. I'm very excited for this video as I have wanted to film this video forever but basically I haven't been able to because anytime I've gone back to school shopping I haven't been able to get enough stuff to actually film a good and juicy video but considering I'm going into year 11 this year which I am not excited for. Obviously as I said I'm going into year 11 this year which if you don't know is a sophomore if you're from America. I've just been editing this video and I realised I didn't even say what this video is. I mean I'm pretty sure you will be able to guess from like the title and the thumbnail but it is a back to school haul for 2020. Yeah, as I mentioned, going into year 11 in the UK is your last year of school. So I did need a few more bits and I usually do obviously some organisation and more revision bits. Just my little interruption that I wanted to make and now let's get back to the video. That's all for the intro of this video and now we're going to get on and I'll show you all my... All right, so I went to a total of five shops. Wilco's, The Works, WH Smith, Sainsbury's and Poundland. First, we're gonna start with Sainsbury's just because that's the least amount of things. So the first thing that I got is these massive humongous paper clips. I thought these would be good for revision cards because normal paper clips always break. Like I need all my revision cards together. I thought these would be really good just to organize the revision cards. Uh, the second and final thing that I got from Sainsbury's is just a pencil case. This is my pencil case this year. Obviously you need a clear pencil case for exams. So I thought I may as well just get a pencil case at the start of the year that's clear and I can use it all the way through and it's a really good size as well it also fits my calculator in let's do pound one next firstly i got this pack of whiteboard pens green black blue and red i go through whiteboard pens like no other always handy to have some whiteboard pens a helix 30 centimeter ruler i just thought because folding rulers they fit better in pencil cases and i didn't have a folding ruler and i thought it'd be good to have especially for like year 11 for like maths and stuff these punch pockets everything everyone's seen these before and they're just the ones with like the holes in the side these are going to be good for putting in my binders and like organizing them so yeah it comes with 60 i thought that was a very good bargain there next up we're going to move on to wilco's first thing that i got is this cased eraser uh, with sharpener the rubber on top and then the sharpener bottom there i thought this was good because it'll save space in my pencil case with it being a rubber and sharpener like in one and i feel like a lot of people are always asking for like rubbers and stuff so it's just handy to have one we have some pencils and it's a pack of 10 wooden pencils they have rubbers on the bottom there and then they also are already sharpened which is really good oh this was a bargain i am thank you mum for finding this because i would have completely not seen it and it's amazing, right? Don't know about me, but I could go through glue like no other. I don't like using the school's glue just because it's a faff. And half the time there's no glue left in the glue or they're really bad glue sticks. This, right, two massive 43 gram Pritt glue sticks were three pound. Because Pritt sticks are quite expensive. And a lot of the time you get like one of these for like two pound fifty. So getting two massive ones, which should last me a good while, it's a no brainer. It's incredible. For three pounds, it is great. Prick sticks, always handy. The next thing that I got was a binder. It's one of the lever arch ones. It's one of the, like the big and juicy ones. And it's just in this blue, navy blue colour with a cream inside. For, for organising revision notes, I'm gonna use my poly pocket. Does anyone else, right? Call these poly pockets. Is that just me who's called them poly pockets? I'm gonna put my poly pockets in here to revive to do this revision. I'll probably use this to like my GCSE folder, so I'll have history, food, PE, and then RE in there as well. Now I'll move on to WH Smith. In WH Smith, I actually got another binder. In WH Smith, they do have three for two on at the minute. Yeah, the reason why I didn't get another binder from Wilco's is because obviously Wilco's is a lot cheaper. It's because they only have that colour and I wanted two different colours. I got this one from WH Smith. Thinking of doing this for science as it's another a big like one of the lever arch ones so i thought i can have chemistry biology and physics in here as well it's just this pink one i'm gonna feel so grown up with these little year five me wanted to have a binder for school so bad that i made my mum buy a binder for me in year five thinking i'd get loads of homework i didn't get any or they kept it at school my homework i just have this binder i thought that we needed binders in year five because i am in year five for homework so i thought year five needed to have one but actually the story is that we don't because we need to hand our homework in i got these i don't know how to say this brand stadet to left to left this brand 10 ballpoint pens um in all different colors i thought these would just be quite good for notes and it was kind of you know what i was gonna get some tip x because i always mess up in revision notes and i completely forgot about that so these were just kind of like a let's grab it for the three for two these post-it notes these were 3.99 but i got them for free because of the three for two offer so these are going to be used for doing my binders and maybe even for english as well as like on the pictures annotating the book the final shop that i went to was the works this is the 
think that got the most from as the works is actually really really good for school supplies guys i really recommend it first up i got revision cards these are actually really big i actually didn't realize how big these were that's really good um i did only get one pack of these um obviously i know i'm going to use more than 50 in this school year these were a pound as well bargain but i do still have some left from last year and i didn't want to buy loads just because it would be taking up space i didn't need because obviously once i've used these i'll organize them into my binders and i'll have space for more so i'll go out and buy more throughout the year i, I like the lined ones there because you can kind of put the title on the top and then obviously all the writing here or how i like to use revision cards is writing a question on the front and the answer on the back and testing myself got a pack of pens zebra z grip ballpoint pen these pens are really good i really like them so there's just five black ones there's two there as well uh purple pink green red and blue which at school you need a green pen and then i also like to have a blue and a red one just in case yeah as i said these pens are really good they write really smoothly and they make my writing look really neat definitely have to get some more probably when it comes to actual gcse's i'll just get like a 10 pack of all black pens as obviously in your gcse's you have to write in blacks next i got some highlighters they're just the big ones i really like these ones i find them really like smooth orange green yellow pink and blue i usually have a highlight a uh, pastel type of person I don't know how to explain it this is just how my brain works i feel like if i get the neon ones then i'll take it more seriously i feel like because they're more neon-y i'll just be more serious about it say if i had the pastel ones i just think it's like cutesy stuff that once i've made i don't have to look over them again like for revision notes so i feel like if i've got the neon ones and i'll make it make me look at them again because i'll be like right it's serious i don't know and i feel like neon can look pretty as well i got this pucker pad i got a squared one purple holographic one it's really nice let me just show you what it looks like inside it's just this square one and i got this for math just because i feel like for maths i'm going to be doing a lot of past papers that's how i'm planning to revise for math yeah i got this because i feel like i'm going to be doing as i said so many past papers but i don't want to waste loads of print in paper or ink so i thought i could just get the past paper up on like google and then actually work it out in this 160 pages of premium quality squared paper and it also has ooh, drilled holes yeah it also has like holes in it so you can put it in your binders um, and two pound for a pucker pad as well i thought that was really good pucker pad pads are usually really expensive um and then the final thing in this haul it's coming into an end which is quite sad uh, also from the work commercial pastel subject dividers pink blue red orange yellow then the same color again i got two packs the way i'm going to organize them in my binders say pink's the chemistry color right say if i use pink for chemistry i'll have chemistry written on here and then like paper one obviously it only comes two in like colors come up twice so i got another pack and then like paper two there so yeah that's all my school stuff for this year so guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up comment down below and also make sure to subscribe comment down below what year you're going into at school and how you're feeling about it year 11 bit of a scary year if you're going into year 11 as well or year 13 obviously year 13 you have your a levels year 11 you have your gccs good luck um we'll all do amazing i hope you're all having an amazing day that's my school supplies haul for 2022 my first and maybe last it depends how much i get like next year kind of scary <laughs> pretty much i'm very excited for year 11 videos actually because i have like the prom vlog and everything as well which i'm so excited for and then obviously i'm going to film my results day as well hopefully unless i like crap my eyes out i guess i'll see you all in my next video bye guys